What do we have here? A Brian Brown Raptor. This thing is crazy, man. So beautiful. Just that increasing hole size. It's just very technical and cool. And then it's also sweeping and beautiful. The blade grind is also just very nice. That swedge that comes all the way down. That hollow grind that's barely a hollow grind, but just enough to make it look cool and be more slicey. Thumb studs. Look at the detail on those guys. And they work great. I'm kind of a flipper guy. I wish it had a flipper. I know a lot of people don't like it. But to me, a flipper would be nice. And if it was just a tad bigger, it kind of disappears in my hand. If, it, if this knife was, the handle was a half an inch longer, blade half an inch longer, it's got great ratios. The blade goes all the way to the end. It's not wasting anything. That nice backspacer. It almost touches it. Yeah, flipper version. About an inch longer altogether. Man, that would be for me. Probably still couldn't afford it, but I would love to look at it and mess with it. Borrowed this one from a buddy for a review. Obviously, we are not a safe queen. We are a user. Lots of snail trails. The blade is not showing much wear, but it might not. With that nice satin grind, it might hide any kind of wear anyway. I don't love how they did the uh, uh, sharpening choil there. They could have gone a little, or Brian Brown could have gone a little deeper, brought that in a little further, so it's real obvious where to stop sharpening it. It looks like it. you got to be careful not to sharpen too far down, or you'll start to get that extra wide sharpened area that looks not right. It looks wrong? Yeah, it looks wrong. But if you stop sharpening right where... It was sharpened from the factory. It would probably be good. Amazing knife. Amazing action. Brian Brown Raptor. Have a nice day.